Today we're heading out to the beautiful Tung Curry to do a bit of land based brim fishing with our special guest Luke Austin from Great Lakes Tackle. Come down to um, Great Lakes Tackle this morning to uh, catch up with Luke. He's uh, going to run us through a bit of uh, the uh, lures, plastics, jig heads, a bit of line leader information, uh, and then we're going to head down to the wall to uh, chase a few nasty brim on the light gear. So um, this is Luke from Great Lakes Tackle in Tuncurry, and uh, just uh, give us a run through on what you've got there, Luke. Um, so basically land based brim, um, you can find them, especially this time of year, basically anywhere um, down this lower end of the system, so rock walls, bridges, jetties, boats, whatever, um, light line, light leaders, soft plastics are the easiest way to go. Um, as far as line goes, from four through to six is a pretty good way to go. The lighter you go, the more fish you'll get, so start light and go up if you need to um, and from there you go to your jig heads jig heads there's a mile of different jig heads you can use just match the hook size to your plastic and the weight to the depth or speed of water that you're fishing um, so the faster the water flow the heavier the jig yep pretty much he's robbing <laughs> um, and then as far as plastics go uh, Again, brim will eat just about anything. So things from crab, shrimps, through to bait fish profiles. Um, anywhere from one and a half through to three inches will work. Um, just find a plastic that you like and and have a go. It's um, a good idea to have a bit of variety too to change over. If they're not eating one thing, they'll change, and you can change to something else. Yep, definitely mix it up a bit. Um, sometimes, you know, this time of year you'll get a lot of ocean run fish. They're used to eating bait fish outside, so things like little three inch shads, um, little, little slim swims, they'll all do the job with those ocean run brim. Little key tech paddle tails there. <coughs> um, any that have been living around the rocks or oyster leases, they'll love your shrimp and crab profiles, so things like your hurricane crabs, which come already rigged. They find it pretty hard to resist. Uh, good old grubs in your motor oil. They're a, an all time favourite. They've probably won more brim comps than anything else. So, yeah, that little fella there. And something like your little hidden weights will be a pretty deadly combo for just about anywhere. So how long have you had the shop here? Um, been Especially in the shop a now for so, yeah, a couple of years now. So. And um, you moved here for to, to buy the shop? Uh, so, so born here and grown up here. Right. Um, came back about uh, eight years ago now. Um, Never would have dreamt of owning a tackle shop, and uh, the opportunity came up, and here I am. Took it on, and won't look back now. So no. it's a, probably the best best place in the world for fishing, and so the fishing shop's always going to work. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And the good good thing about being a local and growing up in the area is you've got a lot of local knowledge for uh, to help people out when they come into the shop too. Yeah, it's surprising what you can catch um, without a boat without having to do some Ks. You can you can walk literally 200 metres and, and be on the fish. So. Yeah. Um, and with this sort of thing, you don't have to spend the hours chasing live bait, pumping yabbies. That's it. Doing that sort of thing. Yep. Um, you can just call in, mm -hmm. grab a packet of jig heads, some um, a, pack, a couple of packets of different vari variations of the plastics and, yep. and go and catch a brim. And it's cheap, like 20 bucks and you're, you're in the brim. Yeah, you're, so. in, you're in for a day's fishing for yep. 20 bucks. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, and uh, the light tackle Brim fishing like that is a lot of fun too. Yeah. Because they really put in. Yeah. 
Well, very good. Let's get into them. Well, thanks, Luke. We'll um, head down to the wall and get into a few if we can. Sounds good. Give it a shot. So a little brim, easily legal oh. easily on a uh, little key tech easy shiner. And they're used to eating things like baby mullet, uh, little tailor, little uh, herring, hardy head, stuff like that. So bait fish profiles down around rock walls definitely work. Away he goes. Ah, oh, gone again. <laughs> huh? Another one's jumped on. Yeah, hey, look at that. Lost it and got a big one. <laughs> little Trev. <laughs> oh, little Trevor. There's that. Dropped the brim and Trevally grabbed it. Oh. <laughs> Watch your step. That'd have to be a baby GT, wouldn't it? Look at the shape of that. Little big eye. Big eye. Isn't that cute? Mate, you'd live you for a Jew. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit scary on four. Hey? That's a bit scary on four. Yeah. <coughs> Another small fish. Probably legal, just. So if Adam pans around, you can see here, we've got a run out tide, um, plenty of structure, but we've got this nice little eddy here. Uh, so brim, kind of like us, they're a bit lazy. Um, they don't want to sit in that, that fast running water. They'll sit in the eddies here and just wait for bait fish and shrimp and crabs and whatever to be washed in, washed out of the system and they'll feed on them. So. We're basically just imitating that, just putting our plastics in this eddy, waiting for the fish to strike at them and, and away you go. Oh, see it happening. What happened, Mike? Oysters. That's Four hot. pound oysters, brim. It happened. to uh, whack a bit bigger key tech on and see if we can get a bigger fish. Very deep. Very deep. There's 
tudod, szarunk van. Kítem. I guess uh, a lot more weight there than than length though get another one with the brim bullet going quiet we headed up to the end of tongue curry wall to try our luck Things, things have went a bit quiet for the uh, as far as the brim go. But we ventured out the end of the wall and kept throwing small bait fish profiles. The school of salmon came through. Um, we could fun on light gear. We managed to get this one in. Happy days. So that's that's brim fishing land base 101 in the Great Lakes. Um, thanks to Adam and Glenn for coming out. It's been a good day, so we'll have to do it again tomorrow. <laughs>